friends welcome back to our channel learn with gigs in this video we will cover the difference between all all selected and all except dax functions which is very very important power bi interview question and you can expect the difference between either of them in almost every power bi interview so you have to understand the practical difference between these three properly so do watch this video complete it till the end for the proper understanding of the difference and friends a lot of you keep on messaging me how to learn power bi from scratch how to learn the other skills like sql and excel and even python also from scratch so that you can basically compete in the market basically you can get the exposure of real time projects the real time complex data sets so for that i would recommend you to go for code basics data analyst boot camp where they are providing quality content at very affordable price and after completing the boot camp you are basically job ready in the market so that's the main feature of this boot camp let me show you what i am talking about on the screen so this is the boot camp that i was talking about so whenever we go for a paid course or a paid boot camp we look for two important things one is it affordable or not second is the quality of the course or the boot camp good or not i would say in both of these criterias this boot camp is at the top means it is very affordable as you can see it is 4800 and at the same time the quality of the content is very good and you can see they also provide no question asked refund policy within 30 days of enrollment means within 30 days if you don't like the boot camp they will return all of your money so a win win situation for you so this is the boot camp journey where you will be learning excel power bi sql and python okay all the relevant skills that is required for a data analyst and which is as per the market standards and along with these skills you will be learning how to make online credibility they will be helping you in resume preparation they will be also providing you strategies how to apply for job applications also they will be helping you assisting you in interview preparation and also they are providing virtual internship okay which you can also include in your resume so at the end after doing all these things you will be job ready in the market so this is a brilliant boot camp which you can go for i will be providing the link of this boot camp in the description box of this video please do check it out now let's get back to the main topic of this video so to understand the difference between all all selected and all except here i have used adventure works data set basically all the tables that have been provided in adventure works data set and you can also download this data set from google it is freely available and correspondingly i have a data model with respect to these tables now on this particular table you can see i have product color and their respective total orders so i am using products table and here sales table okay total orders is basically a simple sum of sales of order quantity to understand all function first let me show you the official documentation of all function see all function what does it do it returns all the rows of a table or all the values in a column ignoring any filters that might have been applied okay so this is the main line of all function okay it will return all the rows of a table if the table is specified or it will return all the values in a column if a column is specified as an argument in all function so you can see here all function takes table or column or columns as argument okay so this is the syntax of all function now let us see in our report how we can understand this all function so for that i will create a measure over here i will name this measure as all measure to include this all function here i will make first use of calculate function here pull my measure that is total orders that we have calculated which is basically the sum of quantity then here i will make use of all function and now in all function as i said it can take table as an argument it can take column as an argument i will first take here table as the argument so here i will give product table as the argument because in this table in this table visual i have used product color of products table so to understand the concept of all we will make use of here product table okay so products table close the bracket of all close the bracket of calculate now let us see what does this measure returns here i will pull this all measure here and let us see the result 
so you can see here all measure is giving us the result 84174 and what it is it is the summation of all the total orders okay summation of all the orders 84174 so what it is doing basically it is ignoring all the filter context applied on this visual it is ignoring this product color filter and giving us the entire result as the result in each row of the of this table visual okay this is the result of all measure now what will happen if i give any particular column as the argument here instead of entire products table so what i will do i will first make use of one column here for example i will make use of product color let us see what will happen here product color so see nothing changed because we have used product color only as the filter over here in this visual table visual but if i make use of here some other column for example if i make use of for example product name here now let us see what will happen now you can see here clearly when when i am changing the argument of all function to product name my measure has changed it has it is showing me the values which is equal to the total orders basically now it is filtering on the basis of filter context that is product color in this table visual so now let's move and create our all selected measure i have copied the last code that we have written and we will modify that only so here i will modify it to all selected measure okay and i here i will make use of all selected okay and before that let us understand or read the documentation of all selected function so it also what does it do it removes the context filters from the columns and rows in the current query while retaining all other context filters or explicit filters focus on this word explicit filters what i have done here i have made use of all selected function here and in general all selected function take column as the argument so here also we will make use of a column as an argument in all selected function to understand its functionality so here i will make use of color column okay whatever we have used here to understand it better now let us see what is the result of this measure gives us so our measure is completed let us bring this measure here and let us see the result so all selected measure again here you can see it is giving us the same result the summation of total orders that is 84174 in all the rows of this visual now how does it different from all function then so if, and to understand the difference what i will do here i will make use of a slicer here and i will make pull basically product color column in that slicer so i will make use of a slicer here okay and i will make use of product color there see here if i will select black for example so this is a kind of explicit filter that we were talking about here in this explicit filter so what does it do it will retain all the explicit filter if we have applied any okay so if we are applying any filter explicitly like this for example if i select here black okay and you can see the total orders for black is 10590 now now it is early currently it is showing 84174 but when i will click here black let us see the result see it is showing me 10590 that is the actual total orders that means it is retaining the explicit filter that we are applying okay so that was the meaning of that line i hope it is clear to you now if i select blue here it will show me the blue color total orders if i select here red here it will show me the red color total orders that is 4011 the same here and all function all measure it is showing still showing us 84174 okay because it is different from all selected function and that's what we can see here as the difference so i hope this all selected function is also clear to you now through this example now i will unselect this and we have understood all selected measure and as i said earlier in all selected function whenever in general we use all selected function we give a column as an argument mostly okay now let us move to all except function and how does all except function is different from these all and all selected dax functions now let us make a measure for all except function again i will copy paste that code and i will rename this measure as all except measure and here i will make use of all except function and before that let us read its official documentation so what does it do 
so basically it removes all context filters in the table except the filter that have been applied to the specified column what does it syntax says all except it takes two argument basically first is the table and the second one is the column that we want to provide as an except argument now let us see what we have given here so here all except we have used first argument is table so that is product table then comma and now we'll make use of a column so it will return all the rows in a table except for those rows that are affected by the specified column filter so here whatever column we will give that is the one that it will accept it will ignore all the filter context except the filter of the column that we are specifying over here for example if i if i specify here product color okay product color now let us see the result of this measure now if i'll pull this all except measure over here let us see the result what does it say it will show us and as you can see here it is showing us the exact orders of total orders of different colors for example for black it was 10590 again it is showing this measure as 10590 so what is it doing basically it 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 is keeping the filter context of product color and ignoring other filters but here as of now we have not provided any other filter filter context here so for that we what we can do we can pull other columns over here for example if i again pull here product name let us see what will happen so let me delete this and show you so you can see here uh, we have pulled product name also as a filter here in this table visual it is ignoring the filter context it is ignoring the other filter context that is product name filter here okay it is ignoring that and it is keeping only the filter context of product color and that's why in this all except measure you see again 10590 so now let me remove this product name filter over here and again go back to the original form with all the measures over here all measure all selected and all except giving us the different results in different situations and i hope the difference between all these three is pretty much clear now to all of you so please do like the video and share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you